This is the National Video Journalist Network. Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhattan to Montauk, we've traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. But I just kept going, and one day he said, Laura, <laughs> Today I'm going to take your call. Today we're at the Cinema Arts Center. This is our very popular Media on the Arts Forum. The reason it's so popular is because all of our nonprofit organizations across Long Island need audiences. They're doing world-class work. And that is the number one concern. How do I get the word out? I do the Sunday show where I do get pitched on guests a lot. And it's pretty much musical related things that I, I would do. But the, uh, as the communications director, I'm also pitching WFUV, you know, doing our press releases and things like that, trying to get exposure for what we do. So I've sort of seen it from both sides of the fence. You have the top people covering in television and newspaper and radio and digital online, and they're saying, okay, this is how you get coverage. This is who you call, this is when you call me, and this is what I need to see. I on other email lists and I get press releases from other art organizations and sometimes it's just this really lengthy, wordy press release and I'm so bored by it. We're really proud to host the Long Island Arts Alliance here at the Cinema Arts Center. I'm excited as a panelist because I work on the publicity side, but there's a lot of smaller organizations out there who don't know how to gain that exposure and reach out to the media. Maybe they're a little shy or maybe they just don't know how to speak to them. So this is an opportunity for them to talk directly with them face to face. Well, uh, just recently we were at the Nassau County Museum of Art and Holston's niece was, was, was made available to us for an exclusive interview. So, and, and, but she was there that one day and it had to happen at, at, at 12 o'clock. And you know, we made it happen. Usually what happens with a lot of these organizations is that they have events, the same event every year. So it's difficult for, for a media outlet to continuously cover the same event year after year after year, unless the event is significantly different. And that's, that's gonna be my focus. You gotta do your research, you know, and I, I'm sure that's something that everybody here would say, you know, don't pitch me on something that's not in the pocket for me, you know. You need to look into whatever the media outlet is and get a sense for what is it that is part of their purview. And if it's not part of their purview, don't waste their time. Well, I'm new to this, so this is very good information. Right now, I'm just doing my own thing, and they're like in a bubble. So I want to learn how to, you know, reach out and promote the events at the Walt Whitman Berkeley. Also, maybe to get a little familiarity, maybe. If we become a reliable source, we may, mm -hmm. you know, have more visibility. They recognize that we're sending them something valuable that doesn't have to be edited or the picture's the wrong resolution or something, things like that. I do public relations uh, for a living, but I always like to uh, hear more information uh, about it and to uh, connect with other arts organizations on the island. Uh, we're very much involved with partnerships. We partner with the Cinema Arts Center here. Uh, in presenting one of our monthly concert series. My editor decides what I write about, and I pitch to her constantly. I pitch the pitches I get um, from publicists. And I'm really excited just to meet other people in the journalism industry and also people outside of it to see what questions they have for us and uh, what their interpretation is of what we do. Once you get tagged by one of us, blast it out. You know, if you don't toot your own horn, nobody else will. You have to be your, your biggest cheerleader, um, go on Facebook, email people, uh, create your own YouTube videos, put them out there, and always make sure that what you do is absolutely professional. Your press releases, are they, they're spell-checked. You make sure that you're, you have good grammar, and when you do a video, do your video as if it's gonna be on network television, because you never know, it may be. 